What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the interweb? So this video probably isn't gonna be that long. Before we get into the video itself, I'm talking about Persona 5 coming to the Nintendo Switch. I got three things to say. One, this is probably my final video of 2018. It's been a phenomenal year. Thank you. We have tripled in size since the beginning of this year. Let's continue this growth into 2019. Number two, anime is going to be a staple of the channel in 2019. Number three, I'm going to be continuing my Will We See X game in 2019 into January because I wasn't able to cover every single game that I wanted to this year, which is pretty unfortunate. But today, we're talking about Persona 5 coming to the Nintendo Switch or Persona 5 R. We don't know for sure. There's like 10 billion different trademarks for Persona 5 right now. So with that being said, play the intro. So first things first, if you follow the Persona series, you know they started it with Shin Megami Tensei, and if you've done that, then you know that for the better part of the last 10 years, Shin Megami Tensei has been surviving exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. It's just been dead everywhere else. Persona 5 coming out and actually not dying immediately on PlayStation 5 was a huge surprise to everybody and it ended up being one of the better games of 2017. So with it finally possibly getting its definitive release on the Nintendo Switch, that doesn't surprise me all that much because like I said, Nintendo has kept Persona alive for the last 10 years. Shin Megami Tensei as well. They're the same series, it's just a spinoff. Kind of how Judgment and Shin Yakuza is through the mainline Yakuza series. Just a spinoff, but still, it's a big deal. Another thing that we know is coming in 2019 for sure is that there is a mainline Shin Megami Tensei game coming exclusively to the Nintendo Switch. We've known about that for a very long time. So bringing Persona 5 onto the Nintendo Switch at the beginning of the year or maybe towards the first half and then having the second half be the mainline Shin Megami Tensei game, it's not going to be that surprising or really that, you know, illuminous to me, I guess, because I expected this game to fully come to the Switch at some point. Again, if you didn't notice this, which if you haven't, you're probably living under a rock. PlayStation is dying. It's bleeding out faster than anything else. Microsoft was like, yep, we're done. And they just jumped out. In Asia, Nintendo Switch has already taken over the entire landscape of gaming. It's already outsold the PlayStation 4. In Europe and the United States, it's going to outsell the PlayStation 4. It's well on its way to doing that. It is predicted that by the end of 2019, that the Nintendo Switch would have outsold the base model PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Slim in both the United States and Europe, and that by the end of 2020, it would have outsold the PlayStation 4 as a whole. That's not surprising when you think about it either, because when we think about the quality of exclusive, Nintendo just makes better games. Nintendo has better hardware. Even though it's not as powerful, it still works better. We've also recently seen that The Witcher 3 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. So it's not a surprise that everyone's kind of thinking, yo, we want to keep making money off our games. Let's go to Nintendo where they're not dying. So to me personally, I kind of expected this to happen. But what I didn't expect is that Persona 5 R could be a thing. A lot of people are saying it's Persona 5 Ruby. A lot of people are saying it's Persona 5 Racing. First off, I don't understand why anyone would think it's Persona 5 Racing. Yes, there was Sonic R, okay? We get that. But Sonic R is Sonic R. It makes sense for a Sonic Racing game. It doesn't make sense at all for a Persona Racing game. And on top of that, you know, Sakurai just announced that Joker from Persona 5 is going to be making his way into Smash Ultimate. Sakurai just visited Atlas Studios in Tokyo, Japan. So again, why are people thinking it's going to be some kind of racing game for the PlayStation 4? It's not a racing game for the PlayStation 4. Realistically, it is a Nintendo Switch port, which I will be ecstatic because I want to play through this game again, but I don't want to play through it again on PlayStation because it's just, 
The controller on PlayStation is annoying, it's very bad, and it's just uncomfortable to be sitting down in a chair or on the couch playing a long JRPG for a long amount of time. I'd rather be laying on my bed or on the floor just staring up at the sky, playing the game, having a good time the way JRPGs were meant to be played. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be coming to fruition or if it's just going to be something that people talk about and then it's here and gone. It could just be an updated trademark. It could, in all honesty, just be something silly. It might not have to be anything at all. It could just be them re-upgrading it to maybe port it to something else. You know, the PlayStation 5 is, you know, fast on its hill. It's not going to sell well. Everybody knows that. But they may be wanting to port Persona 5 onto the PlayStation 5. It would make a whole lot of sense just start porting everything. I said it before, I'll say it again. This entire generation in gaming has been survived off of ports and nostalgia. There's not been a single good game that is a brand new IP. There has just there just hasn't been. Everything has been built off of something else. Everything has been just there. There's not been any surprises at all. You know, there was Horizon Zero Dawn. But Horizon Zero Dawn is not a good game. It's a fun game, but it's not a good game. It's not going to be a game that people still talk about in 10 years. It's not. It's just not going to be like that. It's not going to be something that PlayStation can bring out Horizon Zero Dawn 2, and then it just blows everyone away. Same with Bloodborne. Bloodborne wasn't a good game at all. It was just a horrible game that came out at the right time when people still thought the Souls-style games were actually good. Luckily, that thought process has ended in modern day. Because every clone of a Souls-style game is just flopping. They're just dying right off the bat. Which is an amazing thing that we have accomplished that as a community. So, Persona 5 coming to the Nintendo Switch, not that big of a surprise to me. I know it did surprise a lot of people and took a lot of people off guard. But what took me off guard was The Witcher 3 being announced the very next day. I think, like, don't hold it to this like as a uh, confirmation or anything, of course. But I do think that this is more evidence towards a Nintendo Switch Pro. I mean, The Witcher 3 getting announced and Persona 5 getting announced. Although, Persona 5 isn't that, you know, heavy of a game to run. The Witcher is. The PlayStation can barely run The Witcher, but I'm pretty sure the PlayStation barely runs anything at all. So, that's not a surprise that people are saying that the Nintendo Switch is going to struggle to run The Witcher because The Witcher is just such huge of a game. You know, even the Xbox One X struggles to run it. The only thing that doesn't struggle to run it are PCs, which is where I initially played The Witcher 3. I do, however, also have this most rare edition of The Witcher 3. This version was only released in Poland. You could get the still book in many places. But this version was only released in Poland, and that's honestly extremely exciting for me. Because when I got this, I didn't know that it was only released in Poland for this version. But that's pretty exciting. So The Witcher 3 and Persona 5 coming to Nintendo Switch in 2019 are going to be very exciting for me. Because I pretty much exclusively play my games on the Switch at this point. The only ones I don't are like games that I can't. Like, right now, The Witcher and Persona 5, and Red Dead Redemption, which I play on Xbox because that's where it runs the best, and others kind of stuff along the same lines. I'm pretty sure this game's coming, so get, you know, your heartstrings ready for PlayStation losing another exclusive to the Nintendo Switch again. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Try not to die, and I'll see you in the next video.